आज फ्लाइट मिस भाई बस में जाने लुम्बिनी ए दीदी चाड़ो न चाड़ो आई ढिला ढिला मेरो ग्रीन एंड बिकॉज इट्स इवनिंग टाइम इट्स ऑल्सो वेरी एरी एंड ब्रीजी आई लव इट हियर Okay now let's get back to the pool. Okay. Okay this is our second day in Bhairava and today we're taking a day trip to Lumbini. It is just a 10 minute drive from the place that we're staying. and i'm really looking forward to this
so, so overwhelmed to be here. Due to its importance in the Buddhist and the Hindu community, as well as uh, from the history and the culture of the entire world, this place happens to be a mecca for tourists and devotees from all over the globe. I am standing in one of the holiest places on earth and a little guilty for not having been here before. This is the Maya Devi temple where Lord Buddha was born and it is believed that right after he was born he took his steps here to bathe in this pond. And these are some bricks, remains, evidences from the 2nd century BC. Can you believe that? I mean this place has a history that dates back hundreds of thousand years ago. You guys, Lumini has an unmistakable energy. Buddham Sharanam Gachami. Quite literally here, Lumini is among one of the most beautiful places I've been to. But I wouldn't praise this pilgrimage for the architectural beauty it wears, but for what it radiates and how it makes one feel. Silent, at peace and valued. Lumbini, the birthplace of Lord Buddha, is where Queen Maya Devi gave birth to Siddhartha Gautam, who later became the Buddha and found Buddhism. This World Heritage Site in simple language covers a large area, so you can either walk or hire a rickshaw. I'd however recommend the latter. The Maya Devi Temple is considered to be the most noted temple in the campus as it is believed to be the traditional location of Lord Buddha's birth. Among the many things this heritage site has to offer, some of the other significant attractions here are the Ashoka Pillar, the Myanmar Golden Temple, World Peace Pagoda, Cambodian Monastery, Thai Monastery, China Temple and Lumini Museum among a lot of others. My favourite moment was however to be next to the eternal flame of peace. This fire never goes down and signifies the never-ending light of Lord Buddha and his teachings. Also, when you're here, if you're looking forward to do touristy stuffs, do not forget to hop into this motorboat. This place is really amazing. Look at the architecture, look at the colors. This is one of a kind. And since we're here, we cannot miss doing a photo shoot. And also we're looking for emblems that carry monastic vibes. And ocean really needs to be very unpredictable. She needs to be very lost. She needs to be very colorful. So yeah, let's go.
I just feel extremely lucky to be here today. Can you believe there are 5,000 oil lamps here today? We're lighting a few and um, I'm not sure if you know, but oil lamps have a huge spiritual significance and to be able to light it here in front of my Lady Temple, I don't think I have words to describe this feeling. I'd like to extend my gratitude to the Lumini Development Trust, especially Soroji for inviting here. Uh, inviting us here today. I mean, so glad that we got experience. In Bhairava, we stayed at the unforgettable Buddha Maya Gardens by KGH, which sits beautifully in the fertile subtropical regions of Nepal. It is a 30-minute drive from Bhairava Airport and 5 minutes drive from Lumbini, and easily accessible from both India and the capital city of Kathmandu. Commendable accommodations, superb hospitality and top-class dining options made this resort a perfect choice for holidays, quick breaks conferences and weddings. We stayed here and got to experience what we'd like to call the best. From their wellness, to their food, to their leisure facilities, this place is just great. My favorite experience, however, was their pool. Thank you for hosting us, Budhamaya Gardens, and kudos to the exceptional hospitality you provide. This place is definitely among the best properties to stay in when you're around Bhairava or Lumi. 37 degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, we have caught cold. Can you believe it? We've traveled to the mountains, walked in the snow, and this has never happened to us. I don't know what we are having. This thing. Whatever. A local doctor friend of ours suggested us. Anyways, we all are heading to Butwal right now. Uh quick time like today. One hour. So traffic choke going show, meet you meet you kind show, Romayo Korean show. How should I hold the camera? Why do I, why do I look like a rotten egg, man?
कितनी में फुल्की खा चुके हो? हाँ। फर्स्ट टाइम खा चुके हो? नहीं खाया थी। खा रहे हैं ना? कौन सा? गुड बना ना वो। bus park on the opposite side of the bus park and Ayush told me that this Didi sells the best steak was. Come with me. She's the one. Okay, let's try. Not bad. I mean, Ayush said it was really good. I said, Monesto, saying I could not get there, but yeah, if you're here, try it. It's not bad. Only one of them. No, no, no. 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 No, what are you doing, Junkiri? Are you doing it or not? Yes, I am. What's your name? Abdel Khan. Abdel? Abdel Khan is Abdel Khan. Abdel Khan? Abdel Khan. Abdel? Okay, I am sorry. Abdel Khan has made cotton candy. Please eat it. It's a little bit of a chin. It's a good one. Wow. 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 We are ending our trip today, so we're in a small rush. When in Tarai, do not forget to catch the most surreal sunsets. Nepal is insanely beautiful. Where is your kattu? Where is your kattu? Yeah! What's the last day? What's the last day? We have made fortunes traveling. This is our fortune. The irreplaceable golden skies, the never-ending fields of Tarai, and the nothingness we fall into while at a new place. Travel. Yeah, he's finally run away! <laughs>